So Jacob, uh, how would you describe uh, what life is like for you right now? Nothing, not, not too crazy. You know, just interviews, training. Kind of just my day to day of what I, you know, I usually go about my business with football. An ordinary day for Jacob Harris. Say go. Is extraordinary for almost anyone else. You know, I always pictured myself here, um, so it's not it's not surprising. It definitely it definitely took a, a lot of determination. With the first pick, Harris is just weeks away from hearing his name called at the NFL draft. Jacob has been telling me since he was a kid that he was going to be a pro sports player. Just knowing his determination, I knew we'd get there. His parents believe in him. So go. So does his former high school QB. As a player, he's phenomenal. He's fast. He's got the size. Underrated blocker, man. He lays great blocks on the field. I'm happy with how the day went. After running a 4-3-9 40-yard dash at his pro day, the scouts have taken notice too. I've got the tools, you know, to you know, be great. It's just a matter of you know putting them together and fine tuning. You're about to spend a day in the life of Jacob Harris. Try to keep up. Stay humble and stay confident. Y'all deserve to be there. There's a reason why these schools recruited y'all, because they see the potential. The morning begins with a workout at Calvary Christian High School. I just love being back home, um, you know, seeing familiar faces, you know, seeing, you know, younger guys who are, you know, doing the same path that, you know, I did as far as, you know, just starting, these two are just starting college ball. When Harris was a senior at Palm Harbor University High School, he was actually known more for soccer than football. He only played football his senior year, but fell in love. I was just around <laughs> everywhere, just, you know, versatile guy, kind of like I was, you know, at UCF. Harris turned down over 10 Division I soccer offers for a preferred walk-on opportunity at Western Kentucky. After one semester, he moved back home to be closer to family and ultimately walked on again at UCF. Play action quickly. UCF back to work. End zone. Touchdown, Knights. The results there speak for themselves. This is where I came from, UCF, a great university, great school. Uh, kind of, you know, what helped form me into the football player I am today. He's taking the road less traveled. This is my, uh, you know, this car got me through all college, so, you know. Time for a new ride. Next on the agenda is a couple test drives. First up, the Chevrolet Camaro. Do you kind of feel the the gravity of the moment, like this could be your first NFL purchase? Yeah, I'm trying not to get too, uh, too excited on it, because, you know, with the draft, you know, anything's possible <laughs> with yeah. the NFL draft. I guess we'll play a, a cheesy game. If you're a sports car, are you a Camaro? Uh, see, that's tough because the Camaros are, are a little bit, a little bit smaller. So I don't know. I feel like if I'm any sports car, it'd have to be uh, a Charger just because it's a, a bigger, longer sports car. The Camaro might be small, but it is fast. <laughs> How'd that feel? That was great. <laughs> A powerful engine is nice, but sometimes it's good for a rookie to stay a little under the radar. It's like a nice, quiet, smooth. It doesn't even feel like you're accelerating because no. you can't hear it. <laughs> the Ford Mustang Mach-E electric car provided a whole other experience. For the most part, this car is super smooth. Harris is clearly going places, but he never wants to forget where he's been. No, it doesn't hurt bad. It's like, it's tolerable. Time for a permanent reminder. This is the stenciling process where we just pretty much, um, we're making an outline. Lita Edwards Bendoon has been tattooing Harris for four years. Yeah, it is, it is a bond. Um, I watch him grow up. Each one of Harris's tattoos has meaning. A lot of it's been, you know, family driven. Um, I've got, you know, my grandmother's name. On the back of my arm, I've got three roses to represent my mom, my two sisters, a lily to represent my niece. As he begins his NFL journey, this one is symbolic too. You know, at this next step, I could end up anywhere. 
um, in the U.S. So I just want to, you know, have an easy way to be like, this is where I'm from. And I think this is a great way to, you know, portray that.